Hey folks, it's Connor. I gotta keep this makeup on because otherwise people get dysphoria when they switch out. I'm gonna ignore that while I look at myself. Normally we have a f like the phone and then we've got the computer to edit on, but right now we've only got the phone, so I've got to film everything on the phone and sort of pause it just to save you time. But anyway, I'm gonna be making cupcakes and for the great DID Bake Off, and it's gonna go really well because we don't have like a cupcake tray, so I've had to make. And we don't have cupcake things, so I had to kind of make things to put the liquid in. So <laughs> it's gonna go really well, I can tell. So first heat the oven to 160. And I gotta be able to read Ari's handwriting, because he's the one that wrote me the instructions down. And that, I mean, I might need a translator. So, um, 150 grams of softened butter. How do I soften butter? Um, can I fry it? I can fry it, right? Oh man, I'm gonna have to move the camera around. This is gonna go well. Can I change which way it's facing? No, I can't, so I just gotta point my phone and hope. Okay. I can't clip videos together, so I'm just going to have to do it all in one video and pause it every so often. I think this is how you soften butter. How else do you soften butter? Okay. Um, 150 grams of softened butter. Okay. What's this? 250. Okay. Hmm. I'm definitely going to need a hand free. Soften butter in winter. I'm sure it's gonna go great. I'm just gonna fry it. Just for a sec. Okay, the butter's frying lightly. I kind of think I should have cut it into more pieces because this is gonna take a while, but it'll soften eventually. And while the butter's softening, you gotta get the other ingredients. 110 grams of golden caster sugar. We don't just keep sugar in a really weird place, this is just all ingredients that was bought for this. It'd be really inconvenient because this is where we cook sugar. Okay. Golden caster sugar. Uh, definitely gonna need more hands. Ah. Okay, please don't fall. Okay. Oops. Oh man. Uh, 110 grams. This scale's really tiny. Those bits are grams, right? That's. I hope that's the right mark for grams. Okay. So, I throw that into my mixing bowl, which I don't have. So I'm gonna use a saucepan. Okay. Whisk with an electric whisk. Okay, we don't have one of those. So whisk with vigor. 110 grams of butter and 110 grams golden caster sugar. Until pale and fluffy. Well, we're still waiting on the butter, but once that gets going, this will be easy. Is there a difference between softened butter and cooked butter? It didn't say melted, it just said softened. But... It's winter. I can't soften the butter. Maybe I should have just sat and held it for ages. Oh man. Kind of wish I'd broken the butter into small pieces. Soften. Come on, soften. I know it said softened, but I mean, you can't get softer than melted, right? So, that's gotta work. I just need those other lumps to soften, and then we can get onto the whisking, which I'm sure is going to be really easy and not give me harmic at all. So I've got to simulate an electric whisk. Oh yeah, there's a clock behind me. It's the wrong time, but it still counts time okay, so at least I can count that I'm keeping to the time limit. Okay, that's softened.
Sorry, that's really loud. Okay. How's it rice it? Whisk slash beat with an electric whisk. 110 grams of butter and 110 grams of caster sugar until pale and fluffy. Um. Okay, we might be here a while. It's not really looking pale or fluffy. Oh! Oh! It's kind of looking pale and kind of granularly. That could, you could say that was fluffy, couldn't you? I think that could be fluffy. That looks fluffy enough. My arms hurt. Then whisk in two large eggs. What? Oh, why did you write one at a time on the other page? If you weren't watching... Okay. I think most of this video is just going to be me whisking. Because I don't know how I expect you to do it without an electric whisk. It just says use an electric whisk. I should get a persecutor to do this. Yeah, that's easier. Thanks. Not what I meant when I said I get a persecutor to do it, but it works. Okay, okay, I appreciate the help. I appreciate it. This is a really good workout. I'm definitely going to recommend it as an exercise. Who needs an electric whisk? You just got to pretend you're angry at the ball. It's done look pretty good though. It probably looks like I've done hardly any whisking on the video. Okay. Ow. Add in, is it half a teaspoon? Of vanilla extract. Okay. Half a teaspoon. Doesn't sound like a lot. Maybe I should add more. How do you even measure half a teaspoon? It doesn't... I gotta guess how much of the edge left means it's half. Okay, that's probably half. Mm. I'm not gonna get salmon out. Well, if I do, you confront. Like you did when we got COVID. I'll just hide. Okay. Uh. And 110 grams of self-raising flour. We don't have a sieve either. Uh oh, I ripped the bag weird. I can still pour it from there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Ah, oh, crap. Ah! Oh man, that's a lot of flour. 110. Okay. Oops. Crap. Okay. I think I'll pause you so you don't have to sit with me and whisk for like 20 minutes. Okay, exaggeration, like five. This whisk is so hard to hold. It's so thin. It really hurts your hand. I think I've got rope burn from this whisk. It's looking good though. The liquid's pretty thick. Well, it's not liquid anymore, but the mixture's pretty thick. I think that's what it looks like. Oh, obviously that's what it looks like. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. 
Ugh. Man, my arm's really hard. Um, a pinch of salt, really? Okay, what's a pinch? Every time you throw salt over your shoulder, D just says too late. And apparently it's like a joke left over from when he used to claim to be the devil. No one's explained this to me properly. Oh my god. Spoon into cupcake. Um, cases. Oh man. Okay. I'm definitely gonna need both hands for this. Okay, I'm gonna put you in my spice cupboard. And just hope that the phone keeps going. I can't see it now. I think that's good. I hope. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Uh... Hey, how much, like, how much do you put in per thing? Because it expands, right? So you don't want to put loads in. What if I end up with really tiny cupcakes? What if that's too big? Okay. We're just going to guess. We're going with it. What? Do you mean use a cup? Like, oh, like that. Um, okay. I think this is going well. Oh man, well, that's way easier. You know, the edges of these cases kind of flatten out a bit. The thing is, someone shopped for ingredients for me, which I super appreciate. But no one thought about cupcake things, including me. Like cases. And we don't have like, you know, one of those trays that's like for Yorkshire puddings and stuff? Uh oh. Oh man, that one's becoming really unstable. Uh oh. Okay, if I just get them all in really quickly, then they can balance each other out, right? <laughs> uh oh. This is fine. This is fine. That one looks stable now. Oh man, quick. My cupcakes are lacking integrity. My cupcake cases need structural support. Hurry. Come on, support each other. Ugh. I empathize too much with these cupcakes. I feel like I'm looking at our system. Everyone's kind of spilling out. Some people have too much, some people have not enough. None of us are structurally or integrally sound, but we're still just resting on each other to keep each other upright. Good little supportive cupcake cases. There might be some blending with these cupcakes as they cook. Looks like the amnesic barriers between them aren't very stable. Uh oh. I'm kind of worried about how much is in these because it said I'd need 12. This isn't 12, but it all fits, so have I put too much in? Maybe they're going to explode over. Cupcakes can't explode, right? Okay. Questionable, questionable. Oh man. Okay, I've still got some cupcake mix. Oh. How did you make these? Oh. Crap. There's no way this isn't a good idea. This is a great idea. This is working. This is 100% working.
This is working great. No one will convince me otherwise. I think some of these have a lot in them. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. This is going well. This is definitely going well. I'll maybe pause this while I cut these and finish the rest, because it's going to take me ages. Ah! Okay. Ah! Maybe I'll walk. You're stuck up there, I'm afraid. You're resting with garlic. Oh crap, I can't edit it out. I thought I could edit out the pauses, but I can't. Because we only have a phone. Well, I guess skip until you see the camera move again. <laughs> Sorry, the editing's on you folks. Uh, I got cupcake batter on my hands, so I can't touch the phone, and every time I try and move the garlic on top of it, it looks like it's gonna fall into the cupcakes. Uh, I love my little structurally unstable cupcakes. Oops, I did this one wrong. Some of these are definitely bigger than others. Maybe I can just use the rest of what's in here to like make the smaller ones bigger, because then they'll cook at the right time, right? Maybe I can eat the rest of this. I don't think I'll get salmonella. People eat cookie dough mix and stuff all the time. Um, which one's the smallest? Mm, that one's still kind of small. Okay, this is gonna go well. It's gonna go well. This is going great. I'll just eat the rest. Mm. It's like ten percent under a lethal dose of sugar. All right. Now, mm, that's really sweet. Bake for 15 minutes or until golden brown. I can do that. Mm. I thought the top shelf was right. Mm. I'm gonna make buttercream. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Oh boy. Oh man, whisking. Oh crap, softening butter. Whisk 150 grams of softened butter until super soft. Okay. Where's, where's the pause button gone? A lot of this is just me washing pans and melting butter, I'll be honest. Whisk. 150 softened butter. Wait. Whisk 150 grams of softened butter until super soft. Why doesn't it just tell you to melt it? I mean, that makes it super soft. I think I'm right and the recipe's wrong. This has been way easier melting it. How's it want me to soften it anyway? The hot tap's not working. I don't know why, but the boiler's leaking. It's really hard to clean butter out of a pan and sugar with cold water. Icing sugar. 30 grams? That can't be right. 300 grams. It's a lot of icing sugar. Wait. Well, it says whisk the butter until super soft, and then add the icing sugar. But, the butter's gonna go in melted. So, surely I can add this straight away, right? Because you can't get softer than melted. I'm sure that's a good plan. Okay. 300 grams. Is 300 grams really what it looks like? It's a lot. Okay, it's not gonna all fit in the container. Maybe I'll just do it up to 200 and then do it 100 again. I hope this says 300 and not 30. <coughs> ah, stupid asthma. Okay, we're nearly there, folks. Man, this is going to be a long video. I should pause more. Ooh. 
My hands are all covered in ingredients. I can't touch my phone that much. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of icing sugar. Maybe my butter's melted. This is looking great. This is looking really, really... Uh-oh. Oh man, I jinxed it. Okay. Hot butter and icing sugar. Might not have been the best thing to mix. <laughs> it kind of looks okay. It looks a bit yellow, which is going to be a problem for later because I needed this bit to look white. Maybe I can powder it again. Oh crap. How do you whisk? One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk together until smooth. Oh man, and on the next page, start slowly to avoid pi powerful icing cloud and asthma. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna pause it while I whisk for another thousand years. I don't think that this is what buttercream is supposed to look like. I think I cooked it. <laughs> and I can't whisk. I can't do it anymore, my arms are exhausted. It's really good exercise. <sighs> We're gonna be here a while, folks. I added a pinch of salt and a teaspoon of vanilla extract, but I forgot to put the foam back on, so that's what you missed. And a lot of really exhausting whisking. <sighs> I'm getting an electric whisk for the next time I do this. I really am, I swear I am. Then beat in, beat in. Is there a difference between whisking and beating? Don't, I don't want that information, God. <laughs> oh. Okay. Three tablespoons of milk. What's a tablespoon of blood? Is that a tablespoon? Okay, so more of these then. Three, right? And it's almond milk because none of us can drink milk. Oh crap. Is that too much milk? Well, they're not tablespoons, so maybe one more. My structurally unsound DID cupcakes will be done in five minutes. And if we're really, really lucky, they've stayed in their own casing and there's not been any blending or merging. But I kind of think blending and merging is likely because those weren't proper cases. Okay, this is looking great. It suddenly looks just like buttercream. It doesn't look white though. I don't know how I'm gonna get it to look white. I kind of need it to look white for the plan I got. Oh man, look at this. This is actually buttercream. It looks so smooth. It should after all the whisking. Oh. We're not gonna need to exercise for a week after this. This recipe said it was really, really easy. I guess the recipe also thought we'd have an electric whisk, so I can't blame the recipe. Okay, stir in food colouring. I need different colours, so I'm going to have to separate this out into different bits. I'm going to pause this for a second. <sighs> Alright, back up to the garlic cupboard you go. I picked it up by an edge button and it stopped recording. So I'm going to have to find a phone editor to chop the videos together. Or I'm going to have to up upload it in two parts. But I'm sure I'll find a way. Okay. Add in food colouring. Uh, I wonder how much food colouring. Oh crap, I can't Google with my phone. Okay, I'm just gonna guess. I'll just put in a couple of drops and then stir it round and we'll see. So I got black food colouring. Um. Oh, that's not the texture I expected it to be. Oh man. Okay, let's just use a bit. Food colouring doesn't have a taste, right? Maybe that's enough. <laughs> Goth buttercream. It's meant to look black, but instead it just looks like... It kind of looks like I've melted metal. 
it's really pretty. Uh, but not quite what I was going for. Do you think I add more food coloring? Is that as black as it's gonna get? Am I gonna make it taste weird? Let's try a little more. Is food coloring something you only add a drop of? Oh, maybe it says on the side. Add small amounts. Oh, crap. Well, it might taste weird, and it looks like a great metallic grey, and the white looks kind of like yellow, so <laughs> I don't think this is going to have the result I wanted. But it was fun, and I tried, and that's all that matters. Okay. Small bits. That's a small bit, right? I need another spoon. Oh, crap, my pup cupcakes. Ah. Okay, allegedly, they might be done. Ah. Oh, boy. Okay, well... That was kind of what I expected to see, you know? You need a skewer, apparently, to put it in to see if they're done, but we don't have a skewer, so I'm gonna have to use a knife. I'll take you with me while we do this, so. This is still working? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, they smell great. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, there was some definite merging. I told you, not good enough amnesic walls. Okay. Now, if I stick a knife in to the thickest part, and it comes out clean, then they're done. Yep, that's clean. What about this merged guy over here? I think those ones are fully integrated. These ones, maybe just getting each other's memories and stuff at this point. Alright. Now I gotta wait for those to cool, and then I can add the icing. Pour it says to leave them a wire rack. Cool. We don't have a wire rack, so I'm gonna just put them on this chopping board because at least it's cooler than the tray. I'm just kind of hoping that they. Oh, they transport really easily. Even the ones that are a little bit fused do. They smell great. Sorry. Looks like this guy had a failure to integrate. Commonly called a split, I think. But technically it's a failure to integrate rather than a splitting off. As far as my research has taught me. And prepare for science to change on that one because it does that a lot. Okay. These are looking, well, maybe I should attach those two together again. They looked better attached together. Hmm. Oh well. This is pretty. Mmm. They taste great. The others were right though, I did add a little much salt. I'm gonna make some special. Okay. I'll come back once these are cooled enough, and then I can add the icing. Well, the butter. Okay. Cooled. And... I can see the wall. Uh, I can't, but that's like as good as I can do. Then... I'm going to add buttercream, and I'm going to make them into little DID flags, because they're little <laughs> broken up, unstable DID cupcakes. This is going to be hours of me doing it. Maybe I should pause again. I definitely should pause again. This black buttercream, I mean, it looks really nice. It doesn't look black. It looks super shiny and metal. Okay. By the magic of video pausing, I'm gonna pause it and then you'll come back and they'll all be done. Okay, yeah. And then, finally, stars. Just because stars are cool. When I was originally doing this, I knew I wanted to do the DID flag colors, but I also wanted to add these little stars. Uh, inside the cupcakes because I thought it was like us like the, just because there's one cupcake doesn't mean there's not a load else going on inside and I wanted to do that but I didn't really know if it would cook right 
or if it would make them kind of weird and like mess up the cooking time or something. And also I forgot, I keep accidentally dropping the same color icing onto the same, like the same color stars onto the color of icing so they don't show up. Again, through the magic of video editing, oh man, this one's falling off. I'm going to pause it and then you'll be able to look at the complete little DID star cupcakes. You know, next time, maybe having uh, some equipment might have been a plan because if I had a piping thing, I could have done this really neat. But instead, I just wanted the colours on there and I didn't really think too much about how it looked. I'm looking at them now and I think they could have looked <laughs> just a little bit neat. At least a little bit neater than this. But I'm sure they're going to taste great, and I don't really care what body they're dragging around with them. I'm sure the inside is what matters. Man, I've really bonded to these cupcakes. Send help. I'm all covered in buttercream. I don't know if I can touch the phone. You might just have to fast forward while I dot on little stars. Oh, they're so cute. Can't have too many sugar stars, right? Maybe I should have just thrown them. Maybe they'd have stuck. <laughs> I feel way too emotionally in tune with these pup cupcakes. I really empathize with them. Look how much they're falling apart. Ah, they're great. I'm gonna have to clip these two videos together anyway, so maybe I'll take a picture. And try and find one that doesn't look so messed up. I love them. Oh, I'm so happy with them. None of them are cupcake shaped, but that's okay. <laughs> so they're definitely falling apart. But, you know, who can't relate to that? And they're covered in stars and buttercream. And they're the right colours. And they taste delicious. And that's all I care about. Mmm. See you in the next one, folks. These are really, really good. They're so fluffy, and they taste amazing. And there's way too much buttercream, and I love it. Thanks so much for having us do this. This was a great plan.